Hi guys, Holly from Vapemail. I'm doing two videos, one for the Vupu Drag original and one for the Vupu Drag 2. Uh, quite often the buttons either break or come uncontactable or get jammed or whatever. And this video, these two videos are going to show you how to do it. This video is whatever the title says it is. The other video will be linked in the description. They're both very similar ways to fix them, but they're not the same. So make sure you watch the corresponding video. Uh, it were very quick videos, so if they're not perfect or you can't see very well, I'm sorry about that, but it is just for demonstration purposes. It does work 100%. If you can't see properly, it doesn't really matter. Just follow what I'm saying and it should work for you. Cheers, guys. Hi, guys. I'm from Vitmill. I'm going to do a quick demo on how to fix the drag this is the original version the more square brick version um, quite often the buttons either stick or they won't press or they go inside a little bit and it's a really easy fix first thing you have to do is take the battery pack off if I can get it off get the battery pack off get your screws Take out all the screws from the back. And uh, get a tug out. You have to do it kind of sideways and Persuade it out because obviously there's nothing to pull this side up, so you have to kind of pull, 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 pull. You also have to take the connection plate off. When you've unscrewed the connection plate, you just have to take it out. Generally, a flatted screwdriver is better, but I'm in a bit of a rush, so I'm just going to prize this one out. Because the mods broke anyway. Pull it out. Because if not, it'll block it. Take it out. All your screw, all your buttons will fall out. Don't worry about that. That's what we're actually looking to do. If there's any liquid in the bottom, like there is in this one, to get a wipe out and dry it. You want to put your small buttons back in. So you just balance them in like that. So if you can see, I just balanced them into the holes. Now the reason the drag stops working is because that little button comes out of that little hole. So therefore the button's not in line with the actual pressing button. So once you put that back on there, you want to put the button back in. So I've got... Preferably the right way around. So put that in there, put that inside the button. And the button only goes in one way, it's got a flat head, so you just keep turning it until it fits in properly. So now I've got all three buttons lined in. Cracking. The next thing you will need, and this is the hard part really, or the bit that took me ages to figure out, you need a piece of paper. Rest the piece of paper on top of the button. So if we move that round up here, put a piece of paper on top of the button and then gently push the mod back in buttons first might take you a few attempts it's a little bit fiddly if I have a flathead on the bottom that goes to the top Once the button's in right, put the other two in right, and put your piece of paper back on top of here, 
installed it in place. You don't want the piece of paper to go away to the bottom, you just want it to be covering the button. Because that's practically acting like a, a ramp. Keep your mod tilted that way so the buttons stay in. And then you just want to ease the top, the mod part back in and slide the paper out. And if you test your button it'll work. The reason for you need the paper is because if you push the mod part back into the case, it'll just push the rubber off. Then obviously be very gentle with this not to disconnect the wires. Get it back in place, screw it back in, screw your four points back in, and the button will work properly once again. Cheers guys, stay cloudy!